Hello everybody, it's Several 4 for another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we went uh, back to the Thousand Year Door and we found out we had to head to Boggly Woods, which was somewhere. And uh, we explored a bit more of Rogueport, we finally got to the west side after Gings giving Zesty her uh, contact lens. And uh, now we're going to fight one of these guys. Uh, if you remember, uh, there were enemies on the east side uh, named Spinias. Woo! Uh, but these guys obviously are not the same. They're, in fact, don't jump on them. In fact, Spanias! I don't know why they're called Spania. They're Spinias with spikes. But let's tattle this one. Obviously, Cooper will help you out a little bit there. That's a Spania, a Spania with a spike on its head. It looks meaner, too. HP is 3, attack is 1, defense here, so sort of the same as a Spinia. Uh, you ought to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. I gotta be honest, though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, let's just take care of it. Yay! <laughs> There's no point to that. Uh, also, we have that new... Ooh, did we level up? Nice! We have that new... Um... I was about to say program advance. That's like the second time I've a accidentally called one of these things by what it's called in Mega Man Battle Network. I'm not, I haven't even played that game recently. Um, we have a new uh, special thingy. Star whatever. There was something else that I had used, uh, like a, a battle chip or something that I, that I had said instead of badges? I said chips maybe? I don't know. Uh, anyway, we can upgrade our health, our FP, or our BP. Uh, I think I'm going to be going for FP this time, and then BP next. We've just been using a lot of FP, you know? I forgot that there was a star piece there, alright! Uh, got it. Did I jump on him or was that Coops? Ah, crud. <laughs> um, we don't have Quake Hammer, unfortunately, so why don't we just try our new Earth Tremor? Earth Tremor is amazing. Shake the ground to damage all enemies. Uh, I've seen a lot of people that don't enjoy this, but I, I love it. Press A with perfect timing. One damage. Dang it. That should kill them though. I'm really good, be really happy because that kind of thunder rage in the background and that's bad. Uh, anyway, that attack um, can do a lot of damage, like up to six, maybe? Uh, also, if you get it high enough, it damages flying enemies. So, yeah. Crazy stuff. Uh, this goes out? No, this goes down, what am I talking about? The, the other one goes up to that pipe that was just kind of sitting there. Uh, so, yeah. I said that we were going to do trouble center stuff, but apparently... <laughs> apparently we're exploring the sewers, because we can! That's really the important thing. Uh... <laughs> Love his little, little breakdancing there. Alright, get rid of those guys. Like I said, I'm just using a lot of FP. It's a really great way to just breeze through these battles. Also, as you can see, we're kind of overleveled because those enemies are... Ouch. Not giving us that much... Uh, experience. So we can't do anything there. Ooh, a slow shroom. Uh, that gives you regen. Yeah, four guys, four experience. Not worth it. Okay, cool. Uh, so that, the slow shroom was regen of health, and the gradual syrup gives you regen of FP. So yeah, again, we can't do anything here, though, so we have to head out. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not much that we can do, as you can see in the sewers down here, but um, just remember these areas for later, because they will be important. Uh, 
so we are... I'm just gonna actually save here. Uh, I, I make a backup file before I start recording, just in case I screw something up. We can't do anything about the background just yet, uh, but I do just want to get up. Uh, back up to the upper area so that we can explore a bit of that downtown stuff. I keep on pressing L instead of R for that, it's so weird. Um, oh, come on! Alright, trying this again. You just need to have basic platforming skills. Uh, but now we are in that like town area that we saw from the other side, except we can actually access it. That doesn't open. Hello? Say, I've never seen your face around these parts. Who are you? Huh, I get it. You're a wanted man above ground and can't be seen in town, huh? S uh, no. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> so who are you? That's a subterranean Goomba. You just moved down here recently. Okay. Hey, little mouse guy. You need some... Did you come here to do research too? You're really an adventurer? Really? Wow. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone describe their occupation as adventurer. Um... Ooh, treasure chest. I don't remember this being here either. That's weird. Uh, soft Stomp. Nice. Uh, so Soft Stomp can give enemies soft stas, which I think negates their defense. Uh, or lowers their defense or something. Hi. Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sportsman extraordinary. You know about stylish moves? Yeah. So this is how you learn about that. Each attack has different moves. I'll share one with you. If you ever try jumping an enemy, press A at the height of your rebound. Sounds hard. Well, you got to practice. Okay, let's go up here. I don't think there's anything to the back, but... Weirdos. Oh, a visitor, huh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you seriously good advice. Of course, you have to pay him for it. Um, howdy! My name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I mean, I look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows stuff? I know maybe stuff that can help you. So if you want to ask questions, speak up and ask away. No, thank you. I know stuff too. But seriously, like the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls, because no one tells me. Okay, come. It's a special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. That's cola bar owner Herb Tea's middle-aged guy with a wild mustache. He may look like he's just another glass polisher, but he's an old-school cola bartender. He's hilarious, but I'm sure he's heard his share of super depressing stuff, too. That's Wonky, the go-to guy for useful info. He looks nuts, but I think his tips are okay. Just make sure to get your money's worth. Not that you'll know what until you pay. I'm not really going to be using him ever, but you can if you want to. And this is the underground item shop. Which contains really crazy stuff, like ultra shrooms and jam and jellies and gold bars. Now, you might be asking yourself, why the heck do I want to buy gold bars whose sole purpose is to sell for money? Um, essentially, it's, it's so that you have, like, you know, uh... It's kind of like gold in real life, actually. You just hold on, you, you hold on to your money in a different form, uh, and you can store it away. Not entirely worth it, in my opinion, but, you know, you do you. Anyway, I think it's about time we go to the Trouble Center. We could also go to the Pianta Parlor and some other places here, but we'll be going there eventually, uh, into the houses and such. I don't remember if there's anything particularly interesting for us to find. Um, I... 99% sure there are no real good badges for us to find. Um, I'm sure that we could get, like, uh, what's it called? Get rewards at the parlor, but I think those are just items as opposed to badges. So, yeah, let's just go do those trouble center things. Uh, so yeah, the first six of these um, you can access as soon as you, uh, start the intro to chapter one, so pretty much when we, uh, as soon as we went into Petalburg, uh, and the last three, uh, start up when you defeat Hooktail. So, first Garf. They call me Garf. I have lost my key and thus cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Sure. Do it and do it right. Uh, very back end of East Rogueport, that's right here. You took me on my trouble, you? 
Okay, then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get in my house and I'll, I'll send guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Uh, if you remember where the bad shop was, some of these are actually, like, really nice, uh, tasks because they teach you about just places to look for secret stuff. Like, if you didn't know about the bad shop, you'll now know about the bad shop. Do, 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 do. How you doing, Toadsworth? Oh, oh, Master Mario, what could I just be doing? The mind reels. Please don't waste another moment. You must find the persistent boss. No, 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 no. I don't need that. Thank you. Anyway, got the bad shop here, and there's our key. Got the house key. Ain't nobody there yet. Well, let's check out the bad shop. Not that we can buy anything, but uh, nice. The simplifier. Um, close call. Another close call badge. The unsimplifier. <laughs> uh, happy flower, which is a great badge, and super appeal, which is also a great badge. You look familiar. Imagine she has sort of gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? Shop small is totally adorable. All right, yeah. So you just return to the trouble. You turn to the guy with the trouble, and that's that. Um, he's right over here, so I'm not going to be cutting. But in the future. I am definitely going to be cutting around all over the place because some of these troubles can take a very long time. That's one thing I don't like. That one one problem I've had with this game. You find my key? Yay, my key! I can finally get inside my house, sweet home. Thank you, and you get 20 coins. Nice. One thing I didn't like about this game is that the trouble center requires a lot of backtracking, and until chapter three, you really don't get a way to move quickly. So. It's not fun, but yeah, we can also use this guy's house now. How you doing? Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself a home. You have anything, um, no? There you go. Uh, yeah, so there's nothing else we can do there, so you go to the trouble center and you get your next job. Job number two! McGoomba! This is McGoomba and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zest. Meet me behind Zesty's house. All right, so I will meet you guys behind Zesty's house. And here we are with McGoomba. You never know. We'll be watching. Let's do this real quick. Take this package to Goomfree. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. Look at me! 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 Oh, <gasps> the box. The package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell Mikumba I said so. Do me a favor, forget all this. Do you hear me? Never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Mikumba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to Mikumba. You deliver it? Phew, you saved my neck, buddy. I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck, you get something good. 20 coins! Job number three. I wonder what's in the box. You never find out as far as I know. Price adjustment. This is R4. I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor shop, I need to get some research done. I need the price of Fire Flower, Sleepy Sheep, and Tasty Tonics in Rogueport. Meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. Sure. I guess this is R4. Um, I'm just going to cheat and open up a thing here that just has the prices of everything because... Yeah, I'm not paying. I know. Uh, fire flowers are 10 coins. Let's see. Uh, sleepy sheep are 8 coins. Okay. Tasty Tonic 198. Uh, Tasty Tonic is 3. That's rough. Those are some low prices. Hmm. Even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But if it's certainly helpful information, here's your reward 20 coins! And no cutting was even required. Hooray! So these can all be done. The first six, again, can be done around Rogueport. Goomther, help me find this guy. Hey, my name is Goomther. Please find the guy that pulled off credit card fraud on me. I'll be in Rogueport Plaza. Sure. And Goomther is the guy that, uh, that you first identified when you got Goombella. Credit card fraud. Do Goombas even use credit cards? Who would give a Rogueport citizen a credit card? Are you Goomther? Teach something. No. No, you are not. You're Gunther. 
Hey, you're here to hand him out trouble, right? Larson the Bandit. Larson the Bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me, took my dough. I want to rough him up, but the guy's too wise. I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere here in Rogueport, so I want you to find him. By the way, bandits are those guys in blue outfits who wear masks. There's several in Rogueport, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this, and then you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you, and I will meet you where Larson is. Now, I'm pretty sure he's back here. Yeah, remember this guy? You got a problem? What are you looking at? Unless you get business with me, scram! You want some return the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh, I get my less let myself get caught. I oh, come back here. Alright, Gunther, he ran away. You find Lars and the guys in the fridge are giving himself up. Don't worry about what we'll do. Just keep after him until you catch him. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Larson! Oh, I saw you. Oh, this guy. This guy! Hey, you're Mario! Wow, that's so cool! I never thought I'd be a celebrity out here. I know, do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. Live my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come, but I still don't have enough funds. Can you lend me money? Ah, uh, yeah. No way. Fine, would never be that way. Uh, we'll come back to that guy. I don't like him. <laughs> you alright? Oh, me, I was a little bit down. My older brother left Porches the other day. I wonder how he's doing. I hope he comes back. Grapes, the fraud police! Grapes, another one! Yeah, I'm gonna have to chase him again. Stop it. This time... This time, Larson is... Back here. You! You jerk! Cripes, the fraud police! You're serious, fine, oh man, do with me as you will! Hey, 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 hey. Looks like you caught him! Nice, here's your reward! 20 coins! Since it looks like you're all I know, I'll take it out of your hide! No, please! Game? That was weird. <laughs> you solved the trouble. Can I? I can't get through Alright, meet you back at the trouble center. Alright. On to the next one! Mouse a million! Hit me, please! Mouse a million here, I need some help jacking my memory. Meet me in Rogueport Square in front of the shop. Alright. How you doing? You accepted my travels, I smell it, thank you! I found a good lead on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it, so I want to use shock treatment to try and remember it. Yes, indeedy! Just keep hitting me with that in the head with the hammer until I remember. But be careful if you hit me after I remember it, I'll forget again. So let's do this. Use B. Nope. 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 It's just gonna keep going. You just have to keep hitting him. That's it. I remember now I have to buy a sleep sheep at the shop in Rogueport and sell it for a two coin profit in Pillberg. Ahead. <laughs> Don't I'll let that tip your reward. Don't spend all those profits. Thanks. So yeah, you could buy a ton of sleepy sheeps and then go to Pedalberg and sell them and you make two cents. Um at least it's not buying eggs for five cents and selling them for two and making a profit. Kudos if you get the reference. Uh, next up, Bomberto! This is Bomberto, and I need you to do some shop, and please come right quick, because I'm starving. Meet me in Roadport at the docks. Sure, we'll take on Bomberto's trouble. Um, let's see, for this one... Yeah, this one just... Um... Here. Okay, so we have a mushroom in there. Uh, yeah, just have a food item. Mushroom, syrup, whatever. Just have something. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go back and buy something. Hello there! Listen, mate, you ran into all sorts of trouble. No, that's not you. Where's Bumberto? You're Bumberto. I'm sorry, you all look the same. 
<laughs> Move it, you landlord. Oh yeah, right. You took my trouble, eh? My wife bought my lunchbox to me, but when it was empty, but I uh, it was empty when I opened it. I was so hungry you could eat walrus whiskers. You gotta bring me something to eat. How about uh, let's see, I won't have anything as long as it's food. But I'll get to it. What is it? You brought me something to eat? Yeah, I got you a mushroom. It's all right, tasty. I hit the spot now. Here's your reward. Thanks, mate. Um, well, we have 105 coins, so why don't we invest in uh, this guy who's totally not just going to steal all our money? Now I'm ready to come again. I'll accepting, yeah, 100 coins. Thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, future Dovey, if he remembers, will put on screen just how much you need to give him in order for that to work. Alright, next up, we are now in the newer, um, the newer, whatchamahoosits. Uh, yeah, these are going to be annoying because they require a ton of backtracking. So, first up, from Kupuk. It's me, Kupuk, the wandering hide-and-seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now, hiding like you read about. If you find me, I'll give you something good. You think you can do it? Really? Now, if they ever make Do It and Do It Right, if they ever make a uh, remake of this game, like, the one change I want to see is that you can accept multiple, uh, multiple requests at once, because otherwise it gets ridiculous just having to go back and forth. But anyway, I'm going to meet you in Hooktail Castle, where our friend is hiding. Oh boy. Alright, so as you can see, the guy's right over there. Uh, we are in... Uh -huh. I'll just talk to this. We're, uh, like, right outside the storage room where we met Ms. Mouse for the first time. So, um, yeah. It was where we got the life shroom, so you can just... Uh, if, if you didn't get it, or if you remember where it is, that's easy. Um, yeah, let's not fall. Hi. Last! So you found me curses! I'm sure that no one would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much it's never stop. It was it was a hobby, but I kept hiding as soon as I was known as the hide and seek Koopa! Koopa! I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we were barely shell high. Koops? Is that you? Yes, Koops, the same Koops who always had uh, who had to be it when we played hide and seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you finally did it! Yeah, I remember back then, that one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right, that was the very day that I decided to become the hide and seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I hid and snuck and snuck and hid my way through life. Yep, that was a crazy day. <laughs> but since you found me this time, I'll give you a reward like I promised. A special card, a parlor card, lets you play the plane mode game. I found this while I was traveling the world, uh, uh, hiding around the world. I don't need it. Well, I'm off. Time to go look for a new hiding place. Wish me luck. Guess I still got a lot to learn about hiding if you found me, Coops. It was nice seeing you again, though. See you later. You never see him again. Uh, but yeah, that card is... Uh, that card is like uh, what you can use from the previous Paper Mario game uh, for the... Really? The Toad minigame place. So, yeah. I'm gonna meet you back. All the way back. Stupid place. And we're back. Ah, uh, Mayor Croup, listen to me. Ooh, will someone please come talk to me, please? I'm waiting for the big ass Bilberg. Yep. Do it and do it right. Alright, so I'm gonna prepare a little bit for this. Um, we have no money. Um, and I want money. Because what our next job is going to be, I'm pretty sure, is uh, buying five curd shells from the uh, shop in Petalburg and bring them over here. And um, yeah, that's going to require 25 money. So I'm going to just sell a few things, um, maybe buy some sleepy sheep and sell them over in, uh, in Petalburg when we get there. But uh, I'm just going to meet you there with stuff. <laughs> Hey, playing Bay Riot, how's your door like crazy lately? Sure, at first this game's awesome, I just beat every chapter! Totally collecting, I loved it, so worth the money, sir. You think it'll be a sequel? If not, I hope they make a Pimperl Aging game. Uh... <laughs> anyway, 
here we are. Talk away. Oh, well, Murphy, you must have got my request. Good, good. Truth be told, I'm a touch lonely or no to talk to since you're here. Why don't you relax to me a bit? Don't know, Cooper. Oh, tell you the truth, I got a few things to say about kids these days. Their tempers are too short to make their own good for one. Makes me want to smack them. Well, I was shopping at the Toadstool Brothers Discount Super Shop the other day. I was trying to pay, and my coin purse was stuck closed. The kid behind me said, Hey, keys, you want to pay so we can get out of here before sun goes down? Now I may be in keys, but the sun was clearly taking longer than I was. Clearly. Speaking of sundown, it reminds me of Dane the Mrs. back before she was the Mrs. Anyway, I had to have a whole bunch of sundown. Yes, sir, Pa was an absolute maniac. Yep, I had to keep my eyes on the sun and off the face of my Mrs. Gentlemanly, huh? Actually, wait, what was that? Actually, it was sort of awkward, kind of blind in a painful sort of way. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me feel awkward. <laughs> Is it memory grand? But that's not what I was talking about. Now, where was I? <laughs> oh, that's right. The kids today, they know nothing about patience. I tell you, I want to stand up and yell, Hey, you punks, be more patient right now. But speaking of which, I think I proclaimed my love for the missus in a loud voice. Yup, she was leaving on the train. I yelled it from the platform like in a movie. Now, uh, what was it? I was yelling to her something about her show, maybe. Oh, wait, I think. Go straight from my main point to get away. Did I? Anyway, I would be in the midst of a madly in love. Head over shells, I tell you. No, wait, my point was something about kids today, right? Oh, whatever. Oh, my dear sweet bitch, the way you call my eyebrows was tenderness. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you got my point. Sorry, I had to listen to all that. It was too important. No odd wager. Just happened to get a little face time with the youth of today. Oh, well, I forgot to sit out the tea, aren't I? Oh, dear, my apologies. In fact, I haven't had to add the hot water part yet, sorry. You gotta turn leaf. Yeah, boy, if you cook a turn leaf, you can make some amazing tea. Oh, and if you change your mind, you can come back and listen to me at any time. You solved the trouble. Is that even in my inventory? It is. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, as you can see, I bought the curd shells. So, I will meet you back at the trouble center. Okay, and we're back. And finally, plenty. Order me an item. Our shop inventory is low, and I need someone to help me restock. Please come to the shop in Rockport Square. Sure. Do it and do it right. What does it matter to you? And if you got a job to do, you better do it well. Better get it all better. Hey! Do 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 do. Hey, welcome. Welcome, yes, to Bros Bazaar. Are you accepting my trouble, huh, fellow? I'm having a really hard time finding carrot shells. I uh, need you to bring us five. Remember where you can. There's five carrot shells. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Uh, yeah, and for your trouble on that, you get an Ultra Shroom! Which, like, immediately... Going into storage, because... I ain't using that anytime soon. <laughs> uh, but now that I have space back in my inventory, I'm gonna withdraw some stuff that I put in there. Uh, namely the... Hmm. Don't wanna keep... You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna keep the Life Shroom in there for now, uh, because... I... I'm going to need it for a uh, trouble thingy after the next chapter. But anyway, God, it's been a long time. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to head into Toe Town Sewers and go to the one place that I avoided going to uh, and start chapter two. two, two, two. Yeah, amazing, amazing effects you can get with Dobie. That's Chapter two, 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 two. Which is right through. Right through. The area down over there. So thank you all very much for watching. There's been several total four with. That was one of the things Professor Rayleigh mentioned. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.